Well, what a season it has been here at Ascot. It was the scene, of course, of Togruda's sensational slaying of the Colts and the King George back in July. And tomorrow, we'll be live at Longchamp to find out whether she can add an arc to her Oaks and King George wins this season. Sunny forecasts over in France. Not so fortunate here at Ascot, unfortunately, as the rain continues to pour. Don't let that put you off, though, because we are set for a nine-race extravaganza. Well, I'm delighted to say that Gina's with me, looking rather magnificent today, Thank I might you very say. Much. I'm keeping you company with this 40,000 strong crowd, but set for a good day. Well, Rishi's not the only one in training, Alice. I'm just being put through my paces by Martin. He's getting a little bit quick. This is probably about the speed, David, I was going when I came up to the gallops last time, but I think we better stop because I, my legs are going to be too tired, Martin. Uh, no, I don't think we will. We've got to get you fitter. We've got to get you I fitter. Know. Oh, right, the we, legs we, are going. Right, we will stop, Gina. We will stop. <laughs> Well, I'm here in the stables again this morning and we're in for a real treat because Trev has just been taken out of her box to stretch her legs. This is her first time outside of France. It's a big deal. Just how big a deal? We'll find out from the travelling head lad a little bit later in the show. They've just taken out Hootenanny, or the champ as he's known down here, after his win on Tuesday in the Windsor Castle. And there he is looking magnificent. I think he knows he's a winner as well. He's, he's been looking ready to go at it again this morning. I know, I know what you're thinking. I get all the tough jobs, don't I? Well, there's nothing that screams Royal Ascot more than afternoon tea. And with that in mind, I'm with Steve Golding, who's the man behind these wonderful creations. And you've gone for a real Royal Ascot theme this year, Steve. Yes, we've, um, we've researched the country long and far it was an arduous task going to all the tea rooms the I'm rich sure i'm sure if you need a hand next time i'm on hand <laughs> okay <laughs> well it's the end of ascot for another day how was it for you gina what a cracker wasn't it the gold cup estimate the queen's horse came so close that would have been the headline we wanted but the real story gok is how much money have you been winning today i noticed <laughs> a little bit of cash i'm not there. talking about money i talk about <laughs> fashion but i've won four races so i'm very very happy here's my outfit of the day beautiful monochrome what do you think well that is is amazing, I have to say. Very my fair lady. Absolutely. Oh, it's a little bit naughty. Do you see the little the kind of whip? Absolutely, out the back a bit of, of a whip. Hat? And a beautiful mid length skirt as well. So she wins my look of the day today. More fashion tomorrow, more racing. Yeah, the coronation is going to be a cracker tomorrow. And we might get him on Team Tips. We need you on Team Tips. I'm going to come on Team Tips. So much to look forward to, Gok. And hopefully I'll get to come back here with you as Absolutely. well. What See fun. you tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Well, I lost him briefly to Tanya this morning. I'm very jealous. You could never back. lose me, Gina. No, you're ever. back. You're back. And we're concentrating on fashion now. Absolutely. It's been an incredible week. I have to say, it's been beautiful. A really nice stamp on style here. I have to say, simplicity is absolutely today's story. And you are doing it as well. Thank I was God. looking around and thinking, it's so gorgeous. Two simple colours, lemon and silver and grey. It just works you've got it completely because right we've got different conditions today haven't we and you have Absolutely. to be practical and there's me trotting alongside the horses later on so Absolutely. you've got to be practical this is it but you've also got the coat songs it's a bit chilly here today there's a few girls i think they're going to want their sweaters later on i'm telling you and you've got lots to look forward to later we've got on. loads we have got the amazing songstress pixie lot here also with oliver cheshire we're going to be talking about fashion and just loads more clothes brilliant that's all to come a little bit later on She's been at the beach. She was Gina Bryce. Gina Harding, welcome back. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Nick. Yeah, we've had an amazing few weeks. But I tell you what, not a bad way to get back to reality here at York. It's almost beach-like conditions, minus the sand, of course. Beautiful warm weather for what's going to be a really good day. Well, it's fascinating to come out here onto the track at Goodwood because it really is one of the most unique courses in the country. Now, as you can see, bright sunny day, fast conditions out there today, Simon. So it's easy to see why you get those horses that handle Goodwood year after year and those repeat offenders. Well, it's on the turn much of the way it's undulating i think definitely as you say we've got quickening conditions today it's very hot indeed and what about the draw because you're quickly into that turn off the seven furlong track in particular over seven furlongs and a mile here you don't really want to be drawn too high yeah there'll no doubt be hard luck stories but as far as official conditions then it is good good to firm in places on the round course and good here on the straight well, I'm with trainer Saeed Bin Soro, who's got three runners in this. Saeed, we'll start with Cavalryman, if we can. Sprung a bit of a surprise last time. How confident can you be here? Well, he went in Dubai even in two miles. Then we dropped him in mile and a half at Newmarket in Group 2. It was soft ground for him, but the best was slow and he was strong. Confident with any of their chances? We have a chance. Okay. With, yeah. <laughs> best of luck. Thank you. What a performance. What a horse now. What was that like? He's a, he's a fantastic horse. I said it before. 
how much this horse means to me. And um, I think today is far, today's performance is as good as any of them. He's, he seems to be getting better. <laughs> He does. And just talk us through the early part of the race, because you were keen not to let Cole Harden get too far away from you. Were you always quite confident you had lots underneath you? Yeah. Um, so Gavin didn't go as fast as he normally goes in Cole Harden, but um, yeah, I think Rock on Ruby's probably as he's getting older, he's getting a lot more straightforward. As I said, he just seems to be getting better. Congratulations. Enjoy, well done. Thank you very much. <laughs> see so many familiar faces here at Royal Ascot and none more so than Sir Bruce Forsyth as if we need any introduction you're enjoying a day out. I've, I've, we got here early for a change we always rush here which is always rushing the lunch rushing for when the Queen comes along and all that but today we got here early and it's been nice and relaxing. Do I look relaxed? You do look very Good. relaxed. Lovely and fun. you're a dad panned at this now aren't you? Well no, not really I'm, 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 I'm not a racing man actually. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. No, it's got to get me sorted out. No, yeah. well, it's better. It's better. No. There we go. Um, and my wife's Still got it, hasn't rather it? A, a thin sort of dress, so I don't want her to stand out here too long, you know. Well, I hope you have a fabulous day. And the it, only this thing is. the is, wind up now, isn't it? You're getting I've been rid waiting of for this. You're getting rid of me. I know, but I just, yes. I, I've just i got to have a keep end dancing. Of the interview. Okay, oh, yeah, we'll do the keep dancing. Come on then. So, well, you, we Ready? do it in this Microphone hand. on this hand. How do we do it? Okay, we'll like do it that, properly. Right, right. Ready? Keep, Keep dancing! dancing. <laughs>